Sample ASME B31.3 Video Session So, let's talk about the exemption process. The first thing we are going to do here is that we will look at Table A1. Table A1, if you remember from the wall thickness calculation, we had different allowable stress at different temperatures. There is a column that indicates what temperature we can use the material without impact testing in the same table. Either we will see a temperature, or we are going to see a letter like A, B, C, or D. Letter A, B, C, D, and not E, not F. So, either is a value over there, like minus 10, minus 20, minus 50, or we are going to see A, B, C, D. So, these are grouping. Group A, Group B, Group C, Group D. They named them as Curve A, Curve B, Curve C, Curve D. We can consider that as Group Material A, Group Material B, Group Material C, and Group Material D. They group them to make easier to verify them. The materials grouped on Curve D are tougher than the materials grouped on Curve C. The materials on Curve C are tougher than the materials on Curve B, and the materials on Curve B are tougher than the materials grouped on Curve A. We have to look at the table A1. If there is value, we are going to consider that value is the lowest temperature for that material that can be used without impact testing, but if there's A or B or C or D, we have to come to figure 323.2.2a and make the evaluation. Figure 323.2.2a minimum temperatures without impact testing for carbon steel materials. In the x-axis, we have our nominal thickness and on a vertical axis, there is temperature. We will use the combination of thickness and temperature and see if we are going to be exempted from the impact testing. Two lines will cross each other. If they cross below the curve, we will not be exempted from the impact testing. If it crosses on the curve or above the curve, we are exempted from the impact testing. For example, we have an A106 pipe with one inch thickness, and our minimum design metal temperature is 10 degree Fahrenheit. Are we exempted from impact testing? We go to the A1 table first, and we see they listed our material on curve B. So, A106 grade B is grouped on curve B. So, look at the curve. We draw a line for 10 degree Fahrenheit, and we draw a line for 1 inch. They cross each other at this point, which is below the curve B. So, we were not exempted from impact testing. Table 323.2.2 A tabular values for minimum temperatures without impact testing for carbon steel materials. ASME B31.3 converted these curves to a table to be more convenient to use. This table is projected the same curve points, which indicates the minimum thickness that they can be used without impact testing. Let's get back to our example with A106 grade B in wall thickness 1 inch. Our minimum design metal temperature was 10 degree Fahrenheit. We had to perform impact testing. We want to know the minimum temperature that we can use 1 inch, A106 grade B without impact testing. So, we see it is 33 degree Fahrenheit. Take a moment to review the example. It means we can use A106 grade B material with 1 inch thickness down to 33 degree Fahrenheit without impact testing. But in our example, the minimum design metal temperature was 10 degree Fahrenheit, and 33 degree Fahrenheit is not low enough to get us exempted from test.
Figure 323.2.2b Reduction in Lowest Exemption Temperature for Steels Without Impact Testing Stress Ratio There is a stress ratio table provided by the ASME B31.3 that gives us more chance to get exempted from impact testing. Our A106 pipe material was 1 inch. Our pipe has a 1 inch wall thickness, and the minimum temperature that we could use this material without impact testing is 33 degree Fahrenheit. We want to see if the stress ratio table can help us use this material lower than 33 degree Fahrenheit. We have the stress ratio on the vertical axis, and then on the horizontal axis, we have temperature reduction. Stress issue is defined as the ratio of the circumferential stress. The stress ratio is the hoop stress minus allowable stress to the allowable stress. We are going to get the factor ratio. Then we draw a horizontal line that will cross our curve, and we are going to draw a vertical line to cross the horizontal axis, and that will be our temperature reduction value. We can reduce the minimum design metal temperature without impact testing, minus the value we are getting from this curve. We never need to calculate the stress ratio. The stress ratio always is provided to us. You should be able to determine the temperature reduction amount only. For our example, we considered that our stress ratio is 0.8. Then we draw the line at 0.8 to cross the curve, and then draw a vertical line. We can see we can get a 20 degree Fahrenheit temperature reduction. 11 degrees Celsius. So, 33 degree Fahrenheit minus 20 degree Fahrenheit is equal 13 degree Fahrenheit. So, our minimum design metal temperature without impact testing now is 13 degree Fahrenheit. Previously was 33 degree Fahrenheit. We earned almost 20 degree Fahrenheit bonus with this curve. If you remember, our minimum design metal temperature for our example was 10 degree Fahrenheit. We see even with this bonus we have not been exempted. However, if our minimum design metal temperature was 13 or 14 degree Fahrenheit we would have been exempted. For reference, this was our example. We have an A106 pipe with 1 inch thickness, and our minimum design metal temperature is 10 degree Fahrenheit. Are we exempted from impact testing? Answer, no, we are short by 3 degree Fahrenheit. Table 323.2.2b Tabular Values for Reduction in Lowest Exemption Temperature for Steels Without Impact Testing The ASME B31.3 converted figure 323.2.2b to the table. We can see for a 0.8 stress ratio, we can get 20 degree Fahrenheit temperature reduction, and also it is provided in the Celsius unit. For the Celsius unit, the reduction is 11 degrees Celsius. 33 minus 20 is 13. We need to perform impact testing for our example with a 106 material with 1 inch wall thickness. We are short by 3 degree Fahrenheit. Thanks for your kind attention.